Hey guys, it's Bizaron. Hope you guys are enjoying the new Crucible League. I know I am. And I want to go ahead and start sharing some of the ways I've been making money crafting this league. The first one I have to show you is a super easy craft. We're going to be making simple Shaper starter shields with percent life on block or plus one totems. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up my spreadsheet and I'll show you the cost returns and the crafting method. Alright, so here's my spreadsheet here. So I want to go over what you're going to need first. So you're going to need one socket resonators, pristine fossils, and you're going to need shaper influenced shields. So I would recommend probably going for pure strength shields. So things like pinnacle tower shield is going to be your best, but also really any of these strength shields with implicit life will are fine. So Colossal Tower Shield, Ezemite Tower Shield, Ebony Tower Shield, even going down to like Shea Green, Crested, and I probably won't go that far down to Girded, but um, you're going to want to spend about 1-2 to two Chaos for your bases. Uh, this is supposed to be a cheap craft where you make a bunch of them and hope to hit something good. And minimum eye level is going to be 70 plus, but I would recommend going for ideally probably 84 plus. Whatever you get for one to two chaos each is going to be fine. You could also use strength and int bases, so things with implicit resistances are good. So Archon is going to be your best, but also Mosaic, Angelic, Laminated are all fine. Whatever you could get for one to two chaos each. And what you're going to be looking for when you craft these shields is very simple. Um, the two important shaper mods you're looking for are recover percent of life when you block, or plus one to maximum to summon totems. And then other than that, you're gonna just want to look for life and resistances. So here's an example of uh, the best shield I crafted. It was this Dragon Sanctuary Bronze Tower Shield. It cost me 32 chaos to make, and I sold it for 130 chaos. This one had 84 life, plus one to maximum summon uh, number of summon totems and recover 5% of life when you block. So I'll go over the chances to hit these next. So the chance to hit life on block on a pure strength base is 1 in 9 according to Craft of Exile and then on a strength int base it's a 1 in 10. And then the chance to hit plus 1 maximum totems is 1 in 15 on the strength base and 1 in 32 on the strength int base. And then the chance to hit either when I ran the simulation was 1 in 6 to hit either of those mods on this pure strength base, and then 1 in 7 to hit it on the strength or strength and int base. So it's slightly better odds to hit it, hit it on the strength base, but there are builds that like the armor ES base. So I do recommend if you're going to be crafting these, do a mix of both bases. And then the chance to hit both the plus one maximum summon totems and recover percent of life when you block is going to be one in 119 fossils on a pure strength base and one in 310 on the strength and int base. And now to go over the cost and the return here, I crafted 20 of these shields and I sold 18 of them. I still have two listed up for sale. Um, my total cost of crafting these was only 318.9 chaos, and my total return was 848 chaos. So I was able to profit 529.1 chaos, and I used 117 fossils. My average fossils I used uh, to get a sellable shield was 5.9. My average cost was 15.9 chaos per shield, and my average sell price on the ones that sold was 47.1 chaos. So my average return was almost 300%, um, so I was almost tripling my investment, and it's a super low investment, so it's a great craft to get you started, to get you some currency rolling, and to move up to some bigger crafts. So let me go ahead and jump back into game, and then I'll craft one in-game for you. Okay, so we're back in-game, and this is a shield I picked up off Trade Chat for one chaos. It's a eye level 86 Shaper Influence Pinnacle Tower Shield. So the bases are still super cheap. And then we're just going to be resonating until we see 
plus one totems or percent life when you block. So this one has totems. Um, so this one I would keep and I would try to sell this. It has super high life. Um, this one should be able to sell. And then I'll also go ahead and bring up my screenshots of the ones that I sold so you can see additional examples. So really it's just life, totems, um, life, recover when you block. And then I'll just scroll through here. You could pause the video if you want to take a closer look at these. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more crafting videos, I'll be uploading more during this Crucible League. Thank you for watching.